Hello and welcome to LA TV Productions, um, where the truth will always set you free. We have here uh, a very important personality, a proudly Nigerian, who believes that to make Nigeria work, we need to patronize our own. You're welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, what's your name? My name is um, Otumba Olu Alakija. Fantastic. You had some hitches or problems with um, one of our fantastic um, business uh, companies back home in Nigeria. Could you let us into it, please? Yes, uh, that is very true. I had um, a terrible, my family and I had a terrible experience with earpiece. Mm. And um, that is what I would like to bring to the attention of Chief Allen Nyema. Chief Alakija is, um, is a businessman, he's an international businessman, he has businesses um, all over, he has in the UK and Nigeria as well, so, and he's a very proudly Nigerian person. What happened? Well, my wife was um, supposed to go to Nigeria to attend the function on September, Saturday, September 28th. Right. Of this year, 2024. 2024. I now bought a ticket for her to leave London on the, um, on Friday 27th of September. Right. 2024 attend the function on Saturday, 28th of September, 2024, and to leave Nigeria on Sunday, um, 29th of September, 2024. How did you buy the ticket? How did you buy this? I bought the ticket online. To start with, I am I'm one of those people who are very happy to be flying uh, um, oh, in the airpiece. Mm. And um, without mincing words, I wanted only earpiece for my wife. And I have also flown the airpiece. And you were happy with the service? In fact, um, the ear hostesses, I was on their side when some Nigerians wanted to give them um, unnecessary is because I found them to be very, very professional and, and nice. Mm. And so I decided that I will always well, fantastic. I will always patronize them um, yeah, this. Right. Okay, this time around, so you went online. Yeah, I went online, I wanted to buy these tickets and it came up at six hundred and three pounds. Right. I clicked that I wanted to continue. Then it jumped to six hundred and thirteen pounds. Oh, from additional six, ten pounds. Ad, additional ten pounds. I didn't know what it was, but just additional ten pounds. But I've been told now that it's for insurance. Right. You didn't have an option there to click if you wanted insurance or not, because yeah. most of us, like like my family. We have insurance um, already um, for yearly insurance we do. So we don't have to have an extra insurance to fly. Exactly. That's the same way I felt because my wife and I, we have insurance. Even your credit card here, you can give yeah, insurance. That's right. And in any airline you want to fly, Air France, it will be optional. Yeah, that's they right. Would, they would ask you if you need insurance. If you don't need, you don't need. So that is your... You well, this time, are you sure there was nothing to click to say insurance option? It just went the next page, six hundred and thirteen from six hundred and three. It, it just went straight to six from to six hundred and thirteen from six hundred three. So I said, okay. Um, not that I'm not aware because a lot of people have been talking about this problem with earpiece uh, okay. in the social space. Okay. So. When I decided to pay, what came out of the account was 631. Sorry, 613 or 631? 631. So the same thing happened to my sister-in-law on the same flight. From 613, our own jumped to 625. So it's arbitrary. 
So you don't know what you will pay. And this I find to be um, that we we can do better. We, wow. We, an airline, an international airline should not be doing this. No. And so many people are complaining about that. If ERP says their flight is 700 pounds, I would have paid because I'm happy. Exactly. If it's plain that, look, no hidden charges, this is how much you'll be paying at the, uh, you know, at the exit or at the end, right? So that was what happened. And I said, okay, because the money was there, definitely they got it out. But if, for instance, I didn't have up to yeah, 631, yeah, yeah. it will have been declined and it will affect my, no credit, my um, credit history. Yes, the next, yes. Okay. So, so that's, I want um, um, Chief oh, yeah. Allen Oyema to yeah. please address yeah. that issue of payments. And also, if the Honorable Minister of Aviation can also please help to direct and make sure that these things uh, do not happen because mm -hmm. they, it has to be done um, international standards. Exactly. You, there shouldn't be any exactly. charges. Exactly. If, if we can go to other international airlines mm -hmm. and we could easily go through and they are, the pages are so friendly, user friendly, yes. why do we have this hassle um, with our own? Yeah. You know, trying to you know, be Nigerian and then the inconvenience surpasses um, all the conveniences we are looking for. If you can get it from, internet, from another international airline, why not Airbnb? Yes, exactly. Um, the the purpose of because this is my first time on the social space. Uh, I've never done this before. This is the very first yeah, time. Yeah. I'm I'm doing it because I want Airbnb to change. Okay. You I want am, you want it to get to the notice of Chief Oyema, Oyema. because I guess he does not know this is happening. He, uh, exactly. So if Airbnb can change their practices, a lot of Nigerians will be able to use use it. And there will not be, complaints will be minimal. Hmm. I am not doing this because I want Nigerians to use harsh languages or to bombard them oh, with oh, abusive yeah, oh, this. Oh, oh. All I want is for Airbnb to change. My wife uh, left for Nigeria. She got to Nigeria, no problem. She was happy with the um, flight, the, the, yeah, flight, the year hostesses. She said they were all very friendly, very helpful. She got to Nigeria. She attended what she wanted to attend mm -hmm. on Saturday. On Sunday, when she got to the airport, that was when we got shocked. Tell me about it. When she got to the airport, they told her that she should have left on Saturday, she should have come to the airport on Saturday because her flight was 0045. On 0045 will be... You, you, you chose Saturday online. I chose Sunday. Sunday? Yes. And she got to the airport when? She got to the airport on Sunday by 8 p.m. She got to the airport on Sunday 8 p.m. Oh, see. But when you chose the time to come back to the UK, yeah. you chose Sunday, um, 0045 was the time on that? Uh, no, because what ERPs usually does, because they know they have this issue. So what they do is that they they would write 2359. Okay, okay, all right. So she was to come back on Sunday evening to arrive UK Monday morning. Monday morning. So when you booked, it was twenty three fifty nine Sunday that you chose. Yes. And then she got to the airport with ample time. It's PM. Yes. Right. Okay. So, but they are saying that when you choose Sunday, that it was the they, they, their flight do not fly out until zero zero four five. So zero zero four five was now to be. She should have been at the airport on Saturday, and they said they sent an email. To that effect. That you are supposed to have gotten to the airport on Saturday yes. to fly 0045 Sunday. Sunday, yes. And um, my wife said, um, there are lots of people here who have um, got this thing also wrong. My wife okay. spoke to the duty manager. Okay. I think it's Anu Dinaka. Okay. And um, she said, 
um, only 10 people got it wrong. Come, come God on. did it wrong. Which means it's the usual problem people have been having. When you want to book online, it tells you it's um, Sunday, 23.59. Yes. So, and I believe that 10 people is not only. No, no. It is not That's a problem huge. that all the other airlines have got. If you are the only airlines that got this problem, and it's on a daily basis, it's something that should be dealt with appropriately so that it does not reoccur. If you're going to choose 2359, stick to it. Right. Yes. People are not going to complain staying in the airport for an extra 45 minutes. Mm. 10 people making that mistake mm. is not something that it's, it, it's not then, a, it's not, it's then a problem of the airline. Hmm. So it is not a problem of the passengers. If people keep making that same mistakes, no. then it's a problem of the airline. They should, should have done something to mitigate that problem. If it is the usual that you always you said your wife saw other people about 10 and they, they confirmed. This yeah, Mrs. Your... Odinaka was the one that confirmed the figure. She said ten, 10, 10 only people. 10 only, 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 only 10. So, and that the same thing occurred. Maybe it's been occurring like that. It happens every day. Every day there will be few people that get the dates so because of the, the time you They need to show empathy. Yes. There was, there was no empathy. There was a woman crying. I could hear her voice. She was crying. She was saying, Why was, why was she crying? Was it? Because they said, if you are to go on the plane, yes. you have to pay additional 1.1 1 .1 million. You're joking. Exactly. And and I paid, I have the receipts to show that I, I had to pay that. You had to cough up 1.1 1 .1 million naira there and then to make your wife go back on that flight. Yes. And it was not an easy decision because I, um, it coincides with, I only have Zenith accounts. And it was not, Zenith was having fluctuations. It was not working. So, luckily for me, my wife knew somebody who worked in the airport. That person was the final person to pay. I have the paper here. It's written by their staff. 1,133,000 to, to flow so that just change, to amend, to change the... F and the other, the other 10 people, passengers, I'm sure there will be some of them who would not probably prepare themselves for this um, sudden increase to amend the ticket for a problem that could have been sorted by the airline themselves if they knew that it's a common thing. Yeah, exactly. That is where we are going. We need um, people to show empathy. If these things happen, and you know that it's something that is peculiar to your airline, um, they need to be able to accommodate people to try, especially when you say there was seats. Oh, so there the, were seats on the flight. There were seats on the flight. Oh, this, this or you said that to you pay. had to pay 1.1 1. 1 million. Yes. As a penalty of yeah. to my domain. Yeah. If I get it right, let me just summarize it again. When you booked online, you saw 2359 Sunday. Yes. When your wife got to the airport, they said, Oh no, we just it was 2359, yes. But actually, it was supposed to have been a flight that would have left early in the morning of Sunday at 0045. Yes. So that was the issue. And I said, Well, um, People are bound to make this. Uh, they said they sent an email, which is true. The email was sent, but. Oh, you better find the email yeah, afterwards. Yeah, um, the email was sent on Saturday to say your flight, but I am expecting to for her to fly out on a Sunday. So, and as a frequent flyer, I don't need to, mm -hmm. to necessarily to go email. through all that. Oh, wow. So, so that was their excuse that the email, email was sent. So I knew my wife was to go on a Friday to leave Nigeria on a Sunday mm -hmm. and do so whatever she has to do on Saturday. So and when you have 10 people having the same issue mm -hmm. and you have Nigerians being reduced to tears mm -hmm. because they couldn't cough out this money, mm -hmm. 
then it means that, uh, this thing must work for us. I felt bad for the lady that was crying. She was really, really crying because she does she does not have that money. Oh, yeah. So and and people insisting that she has to cough up or forfeit it altogether was not uh, a way to show empathy. I think the airline, if there is space on the plane, they shouldn't charge anybody. They should so let them agree. go on the yes. airs on and that. And warn them that if yeah. it happens again, then you it's know, their fault. And yeah, they also least. have to put in a system that works for everybody, that this thing will not reoccur. Mm. I think um, it's better for uh, Chief Oyema to see... Yeah, 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 we will show you. This is the ticket here. When they reissue the ticket, they didn't reissue it for 0045. They didn't reissue it for 2340. For, uh, they still put that 2359 yeah, on there. On oh, that day. Come on. It has the reference number as well for him to. Fantastic. Like um, Chief um, Alakija said when we started this interview, it's not about running down your piece. No. It's not about getting people not to use our own airline to fly to Nigeria. They should use it. Yes. And I, want more, like I want said. more people to use earpiece. But we want earpiece also to be um, the, the minimum standard, international standard. Mm. Mm. Because what what the problems are things that are not they're not they're in, they're not insurmountable. They're, I, I, they're, they're things I believe are easy to to deal with and then you get to the airport it's like we are waiting for you make a mistake we will charge you 1.1 million plus in this day and age where we have this economic and international economic crunch Chief Oyama I hope this gets to you Chief Olakija sir thank you for coming yes, and for patronizing Nigeria we will encourage you to continue if the others from the other parts of the world do not patronize their own, they will have crumbled. The governments in power are doing their best to make us come back on screen online and be of international standard. What is worth doing at all is worth doing well. Well, like we said um, earlier, like Chief Alak just said earlier, it's not about running down um, airpiece or any international business coming out of Nigeria. It's all about making amends and making it more international. The airpiece operators or the airline or Chief Oyama is free to contact us, probably with an agenda, and we'll take it from there. I can tell you it will get to those places that this first interview got to. We promise you that. We are not biased, we are so balanced. If you have any other any problems or anything that you want to pass across, you know where to come. The truth shall set you free. It's one of our mantras at LATV Productions. Thank you. It's been Chief Alakija. Thank you very much Thank for you, coming sir. to the studios. It's Kabisi. Keep keeping safe. <laughs>